This content may have scenes of violence, butchering of mutated creatures, and drug use. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to my channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how to install mods using JSGME. It is very simple to use, and if you have a few mods, you I recommend you to use JSGME instead of uh, Mod Organizer 2. Once you watch this video, you'll understand how it works and how simple it is to use. Now I know there is Mod Organizer 2, and I do use it for other games, but for Stalker Anomaly, because I do use only a few mods, I find JSGME a bit more simple and quick to install mods. So here is how you install mods using JSGME. So here I have a Stalker Anomaly freshly installed. It has no mods. And first thing I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to uh, back up this uh, game data which ha has some uh, files that uh, the game needs to, to run basically so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna make a new folder it's called uh, back up game data and I'm basically going to copy that and that with that, you know, if I screw up some of the mods, I can simply just, just uh, delete the game data and then I can just copy paste it back inside the stalker anomaly folder. Now what I need to do actually, I need to install JSJME. And here it is. So I have to grab all these files here. These are text files, these two. These two are just text files. This is the uh, any, any file for the program, and this is the program itself. And these, this is where the mods are going to be. So if you check, right, there's two hidden folders here. There's there's a backup and there's a insta logs. And you don't wanna delete those. Make sure that they're still there and make sure that you don't delete them by mistake. So I'm just gonna grab all of this here, copy. Go back to my Stalker Anomaly, freshly installed Stalker Anomaly folder and paste it here. So when I load this up, here I will have the available mods and here I will have the activated mods. So you activate them and then what the game does or what this program does, it copies them here in the game data, in the correct padding. So and it also stores information, for example, it stores how it installed these files so then you can also disable them right so we're going to install a couple of mods here okay so here I have a bunch of mods that I want to install and as you can see they're all in a folder right now so what I need to do I need to grab each one of them like so I have to put them in the mods folder basically the one that JSJME comes with so I'm gonna paste that right and then I can activate it so that's the MCM menu and that's it that is installed so now it's installed right here actually so let's say I wanna remove the MCM menu you don't want to delete the MCM menu from here you don't want to do this basically and delete it like like so to do that you're gonna screw up your uh, your stalker anomaly so what you want to do you want to disable it close js gme and then you can delete it safely that's how it works so let's install a couple of mods uh, i'm gonna install glow sticks Actually, I'm going to install uh, sorting mode first. Sorting mode. Boom. Let's see. Uh, modern UI mode. Okay. Animations mode. And we also have the sorting mode. There we go. So, if I want to, I can also create a load order. And to do this, actually, what you can do is you can add numbers. For example, I want my MCM menu to be my first mod, like so. Then I want, uh, let's see here, I want Modern UI to be my second. 
Then I want animations. Then I want sorting mod. Then I want my glow sticks mod. There you go. So now we have five mods ready to be installed. So I load JS Jemmy and enable this. So this one is going to give me some conflicts. Watch. So it's going to use the same folder as the MCM menu. It is going to replace one of the menus. It's pretty normal. And it's also going to replace the logo for MCM menu. Okay, yes. By the way, when it's installing, make sure not to alt tab, make sure not to close this program because you will bug your docker anomaly. Okay, let's do animations mod. And as you can see, there's no conflicts here, but it's going to use the same folders from the other mods, which is pretty normal. Okay, sorting mod. But again, we don't have any conflicts here. We just have some uh, same folder usage, I mean. Okay, let's see. Uh, this one shouldn't have any issues as well. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there's no issues here. There's no conflicts. Only same folder us usage. Okay, so that is loaded. So if I load uh, Stalker Anomaly Launcher, it should tell me Installed mods can cause problems or crashes. That is pretty normal. Uh, pretty normal message there. Okay, so I'm gonna load my Stocker anomaly. Okay, so as you can see, the menu is completely different. If I go to settings, they're, com they're completely different here. And I have the MCM menu, which works perfectly. Glow sticks mod is detected, sorting mod is detected as well, which is great. Okay, so let's configure this MCM menu now. So my inventory right now looks something like this, which is super unorganized, as you can see. If I go to my MCM menu here, I can actually change pretty much everything. So, for example, I want my medicine to be on top. Set it up like this. Medicine, food number three, outfits number ten, weapons number eleven, and mutated uh, mutant food three. Amo will put it on number four. You can set it how you like. You can actually change a lot of stuff for the glow sticks as well. I can change how I'm gonna throw the glow sticks, how far I'm gonna throw the glow sticks. You can change everything from the MCM menu that is why it's important to install the MCM menu correctly okay so let's see so as you can see medicine food ammunition I, you can also press K to make favorites so these are my favorite for example weapons then if I put it back there it's gonna be back on the same spot again which is really nice and then if I press K again both of them that does move them down and also do the same for helmets or parts that is very handy so now if i want to uninstall these mods so i'll go back to jsgme first load it up now i start disabling them from the bottom Like so. Now, if I go here, delete all of this. If I go back to JSGME, you can see it's uh, it's not there anymore. So let me load Docker Anomaly again. As you can see, everything is gone. Got uh, the uh, vanilla menu, the MCM menu is gone. Go back in game and uh, check it out again, and make sure, right, that if you if you save, for example, with your with a glow stick in your hands, right, and then you disable that uh, mod, and you try to load back when you had this glow stick in, in uh, your character's hand, 
your game will obviously crash because it's trying to load that uh, mod so you know be careful what mods you go, you're going to install uh, mid playthrough so as you can see the menu is back to vanilla here we don't have any mods installed everything's working fine I go to devices there's no glow sticks there's nothing actually didn't test the uh, animations mode but that's fine okay let's reinstall everything here right and I'm going to rename these so I have some sort of order so the CM menu modern menu animations mod number two you can leave this to camelize that's fine then we can do the sorting mod but actually i'm going to make sure that the animations mod is working go back to gsjme and start enabling these mods we don't have any conflict so I'm just gonna say yes that is done okay now let's load back to anomaly we don't have a reshade right now installed and that's gonna be another tutorial actually right let's check the animations mod is it working i should be able to drink yeah it's working you can see everything is working again let's see this brand as well oh. So as you can see everything is working the mcm menu is working again it remembers the f uh, settings that i had even if i deleted it which is pretty cool oh yeah hope you found this guide useful make sure to subscribe make sure to like and next time i'm going to show you how to install a reshade and how to set it up